Hello everyone in Katri- Katribu, welcome to Kalingang Katribu. My name is Pernon Velasco and today we are joined by Chance Global and its subsidiary Water Delivery PH um, people uh, on the back, Yuri and Chance. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. So, Thank you very much for having us. Yeah. First off, how are you holding out guys? Wait. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk about your company, Chance Global. Can you tell us what you are, what you do, uh, what you are engaged in? What are your businesses under Chance? Uh, Chance IT is originally um, a, a company from the Netherlands uh, until I moved actually to the uh, Philippines. Mm-hmm. Um, we of course do IT uh, websites and mobile apps, mm-hmm. and. Recently, we started uh, water delivery, and we do a few other services uh, like art online, um, uh, property uh, a portal, and uh, forum for property um, questions. Yeah, which actually intrigues me so much. From IT to to water, um, why diversify into something so such a far cry from from what you? You know, originally did. Uh, maybe Arnold or. It, it is more of an interest. Answer. Um, or Arnold, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, why, why water, water delivery. delivery. <laughs> okay. So water delivery is started when the pandemic hits our country. Mm-hmm. So we all know, naman, na uh, most of the people na ayon nilang ng face-to-face inter uh, action with others. So. Uh, What we do is we uh, uh, develop an app that would help them to order uh, water in an easy and safe way. Okay. So, like same uh, same concept sila. The customer will have to book to this area. Then uh, after he books to this address, if a uh, supplier uh, serve yeah, uh, get uh, his or her order, uh, the water stations can already do. De- the order to the person so yeah but uh since uh the, the people are ordering on we are securing naman to the customers that the water are with that uh uh suppliers are uh that the suppliers are the that producing waters are safe so uh we intend them or we require them to submit the documents mm-hmm. such as uh, business permit Uh, lab testing and uh, other permits that needed uh, on a water station. Okay, Yuri, your two cents. My two cents. Yeah, yeah you said uh, a far cry. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, of course, we we develop uh, websites and mobile apps for a long time. So for us, we already have the knowledge for mm-hmm. creating a, a new app or website here in house. So it was a small step for us to see, okay, there is a need for a certain app um, for us to create actually the app or, or the website. Mm. So that's what we did. And uh, Arnold is here to help us uh, making a water delivery uh, a Filipino uh, hit. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very creative because, you know, water is, water is essentially free. You know, it's, it, it's actually coming from the rain, it's streaming from the, from the soil. And then you add value yeah. to it, and then you, you know, it sells for even costlier than than gas. And what you did here is you you sort of you know um, serve as a bridge between those who need it and those who provide it. Yeah. So that's what you do. Actually. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's- but but that has been ha- happening for a long time actually. If you look at the big companies like Coca Cola and Pepsi. Mm-hmm. They they added value to it as well, and you pay a premium price for water. As where the water we provide or our suppliers mm-hmm. uh, is, is just clean and and safe water. So we don't sell premium water, but we do sell different water indeed. How different? I mean, in what way is it different, Yuri? Well, <laughs> a, a lot of people don't don't or might not know. Mm-hmm. But just clean water can be done in different ways, yeah. right? So we, we offer the different ways of, 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 of cleaning the water mm-hmm. or purifying, as, as you call it here. 
Um, and you can actually, some are healthier than other uh, purifying methods mm -hmm. uh, with added alkaline or removed alkaline uh, mm -hmm. water. <laughs> So that is different, um, but of course you, you even have more different kind of waters with flavor, etc. But that's not what we offer. Okay, um, Arnold. Yes. Uh, do you want to add on that? Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but other than that, do you use, um, in the future do you see yourself um, diversifying? And you know, since you're just the intermediary. Um, mm -hmm. You're gonna basically sell not just water, although it's gonna be you know um, something that replicates other other brand al already. If that happens. So basic. Uh, so what are we planning to do? Is what? Uh, of course, kung ano po yung mangyayari with the economy, we didn't know. Siempre, mm -hmm. uh, we will have to embrace it, the mm -hmm. changes or what uh, water stations or other water refillings may offer. Maybe they can offer. Ayan nga, uh, flavored water. Uh, mm -hmm. like so bigger can... containers for water mm -hmm. so yeah we may uh, in the future we might uh, accept it to our system so they can probably sell it through online then so everything water you sell not just your yes okay even bottled water uh, at, at the moment we are uh, not mm -hmm. we are not selling for the uh, bottled water but mm -hmm. uh our standard uh, products, our, our standard containers now is mm -hmm. the five gallons, mm -hmm. the round one, and the one with uh, faucet. Faucet. Okay. But uh, we, uh, if uh, the uh, suppliers or the water refilling station uh, would uh, talk to us, then tell me, na, sir, uh, mm -hmm. can we include this uh, uh, like size to our uh, product? Mm -hmm. to tell Sir Yuri or to the is uh, requesting this type of or this size of water so maybe we can uh, add it if uh, if it in demands to the water station <laughs> Yuri um, how is the business going you know I think this is something very novel and something that has never been done before at, at least as, as far as I'm concerned I've never heard anything about this how is the business going? Yeah. Yeah, you are watching Kalingang Katribu with yeah. Chance Global and Water Delivery PH. We're going to be back after a short break. It's time for the world to know. Outstanding Filipinos in America. The 11 Outstanding Filipinos in America Awards 2021. A salute to the heroes of coronavirus. Coming back live in person at the Carnegie Hall in New York City, home of the TOFA Awards since 2011. sa Katribo Bakuna Paturok TikTok Challenge Handog ng Daily Tribute Teleradyo Bandido TV at RJFM Napakadali lang sumali Step 1 Like at follow ang Daily Tribune Facebook page at TikTok account upang maging updated at makasali Step 2 Kumuo ng isa o grupo na hanggang tatlo ka tao at gumawa ng TikTok video gamit ang official na Paturok Jingle Daily Tribune at RJFM na makukuha sa TikTok account ng Daily Paturok, Tribune Paturok Pababakuna ka ba? Pababakuna Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination. Ipost ang inyong video sa Daily Tribune TikTok account at gamitin ang hashtag Hashtag Katribo Bakuna Paturok Maaari rin i-mention ang Daily Tribune TikTok account para sa inyong entry 
Huwag kalimutang ilike ang official Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Manood at huwag kalimutang i-share ang programang gising na Facebook Livestream mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga para alamin ang Daily Winner. Lahat pwede sumali! Make your move! Lumabas at magpaturok na ng bakuna! Paturok! Paturok! Watching Kalingang Katribu with Chance Global Philippines and Water Delivery Philippines, Yuri and Arnold. Hello, welcome back. Let's pick up where we left off, guys. Hi. Yeah, Hi. I was asking Yuri kanina, um, how is the business going? You're, you're delivering water um, to, to people who need it. Maybe most, uh, most likely in the middle of the night when they cannot go out because, because there's MECQ. <laughs> How is the business going, Yuri? Um, well, we just started, so it has to be seen. Um, what I can say is that the suppliers or mm -hmm. the water stations are very, very uh, happy with us. Mm -hmm. um, so most of them engage with our app. Uh, Arnold can tell more about the app later, because it's not just a water delivery on the client side, but it's also a huge benefit on the, on the water uh, station side. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that was always missing with water delivery, you would call a number and you would just have to wait or see when water was being delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, with, with the app, we create more transparency on delivery times, uh, lead times, and indeed what kind of water and how the rating of the, of the supplier is, mm -hmm. rating and price. Um, so at the moment we do not have midnight uh, uh, water deliveries. Besides, mm -hmm. it's not allowed with the curfew, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but yeah, that that might be something that that uh, that might come in the future. If it's a water supplier, just okay. That mm -hmm. is a niche market. We want to deliver in the night. Mm -hmm. Why not? We start with other companies uh, that also deliver on different times. Mm -hmm. I was wondering, Yuri, what is that? What is that core problem you are trying to solve when you thought of this um, business model? Core problem is the, the quality of the water. You never know. Most people just call a number. They have no idea mm. or there is actually quality of water. Um, transparency of, of the price, because yeah. you would basically either order from the building or nearby, but that might actually not be a good price or mm -hmm. it might be a better price. Uh, and the the logistics. Mm -hmm. So on both sides for the supplier, it's actually more transparent to see what's happening with the delivery mm -hmm. uh, transport. Like, are they on time? Are they uh, on route? Or etc. Mm -hmm. And on the client side, it's actually transparent to see. Okay, I'm getting my water then and then, instead of I don't know when. Yeah. Um, also, what what I noticed in in my time being here. Sometimes you have a phone number and it mm -hmm. would stop working for mm -hmm. no reason. So that means you have to find a new supplier or find another number yeah. to, to get your water. Yeah. Do you think in a pandemic, people are more concerned about, you know, do they care enough to at least um, know the source of their water when in fact all you have to do is to um, go to, an, to the nearest convenience store or a cafe to, to get their water or basically to... Um, get their water from the top to, to quench that basic thirst? Um, I, I think they do care because mm -hmm. people keep on ordering uh, water from, from uh, water stations. Mm -hmm. So they are aware that it's the most safety or healthy solution and not from the tap water. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike in Europe and, and US, we mostly take it from uh, from the tap, of course, because we know it's healthy and it's being tested by the government. Mm -hmm. uh, next to that, it's more healthy from the water uh, bottles. It's also more tasteful because mm -hmm. actually in, in the water from the tap, it's yeah. often chlorine or, or tastes salty yeah. or even brown sometimes, certain areas, mm -hmm. something you don't want to drink. You've actually said uh, earlier that your price point is as transparent as water. Where do you fall? 
That's a nice slogan. <laughs> yes. Where do you fall? Uh, uh, how much is one, one you know, huge bottle of water? How, whatever it is called. Arnold. Uh, Arnold. Well, actually, mm -hmm. the pricing is depending on the supplier. Mm. Maybe they have to choose on what price or what they want price for the specific type of bottle or a specific type of uh, gallon or water mm. they're selling. It really depends on the customer or, or, or it really depends on the supplier mm. on what price uh, she or he wants mm. for a we, gallon of water. We, we don't dictate any prices. So the, yes. the market work, work is totally on the supply side. Yeah. So in terms of marketing, what is that uh, message you are trying to sort of put out there so that people will know the importance of, you know, getting your brand or at least, um, you know, getting it themselves? Arnold, wanna answer that? Mm -hmm. Sorry, again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, what is that marketing message you're trying to put out there since you are just, you know, starting from scratch, you're just um, about taking off? Um, mm -hmm. This is a new idea. Like, um, okay. how do you market your product? So we basically market our product by means of uh, posting ads through Facebook, mm -hmm. and also, uh, yeah, we uh, encourage people by uh, ordering to our website mm -hmm. because uh, we secure and we assure that uh, the mar the products or the waters that we're selling mm -hmm. are. Uh, uh, safe and uh, they uh, they can order it easily yeah yeah so con convenience and and safety are the safety, two core yes. uh, words what we deliver yeah uh, in terms of chance global what are your other plans in the pipeline you have water delivery ph what's next right yeah yuri <laughs> <laughs> who knows <laughs> hopefully COVID will end one day so so we will have other options than, uh, than just necessities. Mm -hmm. um, but like, like I mentioned earlier, we, we have the, uh, the art platform, which we are really, really, mm -hmm. really proud of. Mm -hmm. We're helping to, that is one uh, uh, exhibition online of their art, Artimo. Mm -hmm. So people don't actually have to get a contract with with a place they can actually make a picture and have an exhibition online mm -hmm. for which is safe and for everyone to see um that is one of the things mm -hmm. uh other things we might do in the future let's let's focus on water delivery first and whatever needs <laughs> can scale Is because basically you don't put the product out. In. Yeah. So that, uh... Yeah. yeah. Okay. You are watching Kalingang Katribu with Chance Global and Water Delivery PH. We'll be right back after a short break. Watching Kalingan Kadribu with Chance Global and Water Delivery PH. So, hello back. Uh, welcome back to the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yuri and Arnold. So, I wanna, as a founder, I wanna, I wanna pick Yuri's brain. When, when, uh -oh. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but, um, what is that single question you spend, you know, spend sleepless night thinking? thinking about business-wise I, I don't I fell asleep right away 
I fall asleep when I <laughs> I start thinking once I wake up. That's the time I start thinking. At night, you need your rest. So a single single question: uh, um, how how to get through the day uh, solving problems for clients and be as useful as possible, mm -hmm. and doing this with a team, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. Um, and and that that work should be fun, and that's that's what we're trying to do here. So every day we are happy what we're doing, mm -hmm. and the same for water delivery. So there's not a single question. Per se, it's more how, how can we serve our clients and do that as, as happy as possible mm -hmm. um, every day, basically. Yeah. Um, since this is a public, uh, this is a public service program. I there are people who are actually you know inspired by your um, passion project. Uh, what is your single advice to them if they are if they want to start a business, let's say from um, the most basic things like water? For a business, mm -hmm. uh, most important is of course that you actually solve a problem that you know the market is in need of it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, all your effort and your money will be go to waste. So you don't want that. And secondly, uh, get a team around you that you can trust and that can pull the, the product or the service off that you want to offer. Those are the two, I think, the most important things. Uh, marketing and all the other things can come later. But of course, marketing is very, very important mm -hmm. for any product, um, especially online nowadays, mm -hmm. uh, and will cost a lot of money. So do not mistake how much money uh, and launching a new product or service is. It's not just your neighborhood, it's, it's something you want to offer to, to, to uh, well, the whole internet or a whole developing. Yeah. Things. yeah. Maybe Arnold can pitch in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Ar Ar Arnold knows, of course, <laughs> that it's hard indeed to uh, to find the suppliers mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and convince them. So your story is stronger mm -hmm. if, if you're actually solving a problem for them. So with the water delivery app, for example, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's mm -hmm. trying to get good suppliers on board mm -hmm. and except of just offering an app to our clients, mm -hmm. which creates a transparency and the convenience and the safety, mm -hmm. we are actually offering an concept to the to the suppliers as well because they're getting a full CRM they, we do the marketing for them they can track uh, uh, their mm -hmm. orders and their clients they have more insights in their earnings mm -hmm. um, so we, we solve actually two problems not only for the client but also for the supplier also for the supplier. okay yeah so basically we're going to to embark on the next segment it's the fun part uh, crafted basically by, okay. by by the people in the map so, sort of, I just gonna read all of these questions. So, for both to start with, we'd like to know more about you. Who is Yuri Stagman? Prior to founding Chance Global, Yuri. Okay. Well, my name is Yuri. <laughs> I'm from the Netherlands. I'm Dutch. Um, born and raised. Studied in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And Netherlands is a small country. And most of my friends went abroad. So I went to Hong Kong at first and I ended, uh, ended up in the Philippines, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, so ever since I, I, I'm trying to make my living here and be happy. So I did that by founding the company and investing in the company. Mm -hmm. That goes well so far. Like how long has Chance been global been in the Philippines? We started in 2015. Okay. We started out with a property Asia, so that is an, a real estate platform. Mm -hmm. As again, there was a need to organize all the properties in the Philippines, but at that time there were a lot of platforms doing that. So that shows that there was a need, but it's also very, very hard mm -hmm. to do that together. Mm -hmm. Later on, we focused more on DPO, so we serviced um, IT in the Netherlands. 
in Singapore, or Denmark, and Thailand. Mm -hmm. And along came uh, Filipino arts. Mm -hmm. Because of the real estate platform, we wanted to be an all-inclusive platform where we also offer interior design and paintings. Mm -hmm. So we ventured to, to art and that turned out how to be uh, quite successful yeah with, with arnold we we you know what gets top of mind recall is you know whenever you look at arnold he is somebody who will set his heart on everything that he does so 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 arnold before you found the team of yuri what were you doing Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> the connection strikes. Yeah. So again, where are we? Yeah. You are watching Kalingan Katribu with Chance mm -hmm. Global. We will be right back after a short break. Fiber is the free and secure way to connect with friends and family anywhere. Send messages and make phone and video calls for free. Download Viber now. Welcome back to Kalingan Katribu. I was asking um, Arnold Kanina. Arnold, hello. Are you there? Yeah. Hello, hello. Sorry. Sorry, na putol po yung connection. <laughs> so sorry. Yeah. I, I, I was asking. I was asking you where were you before you found um, your ideal kind of a place that is Chance Global. What was your mission? Uh, well. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, before uh, I was working with a media uh, company mm -hmm. and magazine company, mm -hmm. but uh, what uh, I'm like, I like to do talaga is to talk to people, like uh, presenting to people. That's uh, what uh, I yung gusto ko talaga siyang ginagawa. Like every day, iba ibang tao yung gusto kong kausap. Uh, I'm not the person na gusto yung nasa office lang na nakaupo in. Mm -hmm. Eight hours and typing stops. <laughs> I am not that kind of person. Gusto ko yung uh, every time, e every day, iba ibang tao po yung nakakausap. Yeah. So when the pandemic hits, of course, uh, it affects uh, yung trabaho ko or yung the way na I want it. So pero uh, now naman, uh, the yeah. people naman uh, willing naman din sila to talk to me, yeah. uh, person, personal. So face to face, we can, uh, I can set the uh, appointments naman din yeah. with them. Guys, I, yeah. Guys, I was wondering what, what is what's what's the first thing you're going to do when you know God willing the pandemic is over. Yuri. <laughs> Sir. Yeah. Uh, me, siguro, uh, after uh, this pandemic and siguro spend time muna with my family. Mm -hmm. uh, yun muna, uh, funding so. Yun, then setting appointments again because I miss talking to people. <laughs> Kasi most of them, uh, nagsiset sila ng appointment through me, through Zoom meeting, mm -hmm. uh, virtual lang. So, ayun nga, siguro after this pandemic, uh, spend time na family, tapos work po. Then, uh, set appointments then with possible uh, clients or suppliers for water delivery. Uh, Yuri? Well, first of all, we're gonna have a huge dinner here for the company. <laughs> so Very celebrate <laughs> and eat and drink mm -hmm. uh, and of course what Lord Arnold says I'm, I'm in a foreign country uh, I haven't seen most of my friends mm -hmm. for a long time mm -hmm. uh, and online or chatting is still different than actually physically being with them so that would be indeed be the second thing to, uh, yeah. to do yeah so Yuri uh, the frustrations in business cannot be more apparent than now so I have this question to you. What is that single thing that you would, you know, if you were the president of the, if you were, if you were the president of the country, what is that single thing you would do for the business sector? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> if if I was president for one, every government is is struggling with the same question, uh, and it all comes down to money. Um, 
But of course, our sir. certain things you can put in place. The ones of centers would be definitely a thing that would be there. Mm -hmm. And probably loans with a low interest rate, so they actually can start again. Because that would be one of the two problems. Money and paying money. Yeah, and here, here. Yeah, it, it has been a delight having you here, Yuri and Arnold, at Kalingang Katribu. Any final word? <laughs> Maybe invite them, invite, you know, potential partners to your, to your business? Or uh, basically uh, your customers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so guys, uh, we're inviting you, Trans Global is inviting you to please download our app. That's uh, It's available now on Google Play. Mm -hmm. That's uh, waterdelivery.ph. And also for a uh, continuing gustong maging partner right. namin or who wants to be our partner supplier, mm -hmm. uh, you can drop uh, a message to our email. That's hello at waterdelivery.ph. Then eventually, I will contact you as soon as I can. Then we'll set an appointment. And then we go. Oh, there. Yeah, very fancy. Yeah, thank you so much, Arnold and Yuri of Chance Global and Water Delivery PH. Thank you. Thank that's, you. Yeah, thank you. That's it for today's Kalingang Katribu. My name is Vernon Velasco. Good afternoon. Thank you.